G'day, I'm Bradford Moore from Aquataka, and today I'm going to show you how to introduce worms into your system. So what we do is we start off with just your everyday ordinary colander. We sink it into the bed. And then I like just to lift it up a little bit, just so that the worms have got some room between the rocks and the colander to, to scurry through. Okay, so we get the box of worms that we get from many of your hardware stores. Grab a couple of handfuls, you can see the worms there wriggling around. Pop that into the colander. I'll get two. There we go, let's break it up a bit. And yeah, we can see the worms are just crawling around. What we do is we just give them a little bit of time and they, because they don't like the sunlight, they wriggle down and bury themselves into the dirt. Right, we can see now that the worms have buried themselves into the dirt. So we just gently just scrape off the... Just make sure we haven't got any in there. It looks pretty good. And we just slowly take out the dirt like that. There we can see there's a couple under there. That's a big mess. I don't like that much. We'll just... Scrape these ones off. And you can see, looks pretty good. Then we just continue to do that until we get to the bottom. Well, we're getting pretty close to the end. Um, you usually find there's a few lazy little creatures who don't like to go through. So uh, what we do with those little fellas is we just pick them out manually and put them into the bed and let them bury themselves. You see they really don't like the light. They like to go down and find a nice dark spot away from the predators, away from the birds. Now, people have asked me how many worms should you put into a bed, but uh, it really doesn't matter as long as you put, I usually get, well I've got 500 worms here that uh, I'm dividing between three beds. Now, if, what the worms do is they know how many worms they need to have in a bed, so they'll either die off or they'll reproduce and they'll You'll end up with the perfect amount in your bed, so I don't know, about a hundred each bed would probably do to start off with. Anyway, that's about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this how-to video, and um, I'll see you in the next one.